Well, hey folks, DC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Maple Farm. Farm Sim 22, indeed, and well, this is the last load out of that uh, shed, so I have cleaned up my catastrophe. Indeed, make room for the new stuff. Since we are ready to start bringing it here, we've got it delivered to the other farms. So they should be good. That one's not quite full, but close enough. Alright, and with that done, let's head back down to the, uh, the grass fields. Hope everybody's doing well today. It is Friday, the 2nd of June, 2023, here in the beautiful sunshine coast of BC, Canada. Indeed. And should be another lovely day here on the coast. Sunny, relatively warm, seasonal, so it's not, uh, you know, stupid warm. <laughs> can't think any other name to call it at this point in time. It was caused by stupidity, so we'll just live with it. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll tell ya, these grass fields are a pretty major, uh, major bite on our time. They take a lot of work. And I'm hoping that they're going to just basically roll over for next season, but we may have to uh, adjust pH or something like that. We'll have a look here now that we're uh, in place. Got that one ready to hook up. Good morning, ladies. Yes, indeed. All right. So... Hey, 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 huh? Hmm, it says pH is okay. And it says it needs nitrogen. Um, yeah. So we are going to have to do a FERT. That's okay. We'll get the big sprayer down here. Shouldn't take uh, more than half a morning. here on this row yeah using the uh, auto loader to clear that barn out oh man what a time saver eh? it is uh, that's the way to do it did have to hand pitch some of the bales because it was a rather awkward pile and uh, two or three times I got completely buried in bales it's kind of creepy because you just get all these green straw lines all around you and you can't move you have to sort of tab into the tractor and then jump back out and carry on like you hadn't just been crushed alive but uh, that's all right uh, it's all right all a part of farming you're not crushed to death two or three times a day, you're doing it wrong. Well, actually, probably not. And don't take my advice. I'm not a farmer. Uh, I don't even play one on YouTube. So. Alright. Ten bales up. Yep, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna pretty much fill that side of the barn. Once we get all of this put away. And one more. There we go. Let's put our little picker upper away. And head on down. <coughs> I see uh, Snail Games has pulled the Lost Ark, eh? <laughs> Banned a bunch of people, and now there's a big outrage about it. Unreal. Yeah, I got caught up in that Lost Ark ban, eh? Pretty ridiculous. Everybody who hadn't played for more than a month got banned. <laughs> I think was pretty much what they did. Uh, remember us? No? Do you remember us now? <laughs> it just, it was pretty much that blatant. But, oh well. Now I guess there's uh, quite the controversy going on. Ah, well. You gotta spend at least a few minutes a day watching the drama. Let you know you're human. <laughs> ah, I tell you. Oh, Dixie snoring away in the background. Going to uh, start trimming the fat today. Going through my apartment and everything I absolutely don't have a use for will either go into a donate pile to go down to the uh, local auxiliary or into the trash. Because, yeah, i got to start thinning stuff out. I don't fool myself into thinking that I'm not going to have to move in the very near future. So. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Inundated here, I tell you. Yeah, one thing I miss about my cheap audio setup on the computer, my mic had a mute. <coughs> oh, okay, just a sec, folks. Hopefully that'll be the end of that. All right. What do we got over there? Oh, far too many. I don't even want to think about it. Because at some point we're going to have to take that uh, fancy bale loader and basically divide all of those stacks in half and move them into the shed. And, uh, hope that I don't end up with the same scenario as last time where one stack of them decides it's been packed too tight to its neighbor, and, uh, yeah. Well, I'll show you. Boom! <laughs> and there's males everywhere. Oh. Now, I think... Well, I wouldn't say we're down to our last trailer, but this might be the last four one. Oh, hey, we've still got the, uh, the silage bales to do, but they've got to be wrapped first. Oh, 
Let's stick out our working bits. And I guess. Yeah, I think we were right here. Right here. I was uh, sorting through some stuff in my room there a couple of days ago and I ran across my original copy of uh, Diablo 2 with the uh, Lord of Destruction DLC so, yeah original CDs <laughs> don't know where the box is anymore or any of that but I had all three CDs plus the uh, Lord of Destruction CD uh, well, what are the odds it'll actually work on Windows 11? You know what? I uh, loaded it in. It worked absolutely fine. I mean, it's not widescreen format because, well, you know, they didn't have such a thing. But... If you can tolerate the black borders on both sides, it works perfectly fine. I was uh, quite surprised. And I tried, uh, I mean, there is a couple of ways. Um, what the heck is it? Alt Escape will auto full screen stuff. It should put it to the size of your monitor. Unfortunately, because it's not um, a 3D rendered game, it is in fact a pixel art. Um, you can't actually change the resolution to match. I guess otherwise the pixels would spread out and nothing would look like it does, right? But Or compact, I don't know which it does. But, uh, yeah. So, there we are, we're full again. Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, it looks like one more run will do it. So yeah, I'm just running it with the black borders. But yeah, surprisingly enough, the music works, the um, voiceover stuff works, video looks fine, plays fine, doesn't stutter or bunk about, cutscenes work. Yeah, quite surprised. You know? And yet, uh, games that are many years newer that shipped with games for Windows are unplayable. <laughs> Uh, in fact, lots of games that were made after Diablo 2 are no longer playable. So yeah, it quite shocked me. I was more than prepared to go, well, you've uh, probably now been relegated to uh, being loaded on old machines only. So, and no. I put the first disc in, the one that you load to get everything going, and nothing came up. The autoplay didn't work on it. I guess it didn't recognize it because it was a different... You know, a different format than what a modern autoplay would look like on a disc. So. But, when I went in uh, to my PC and looked at the drive number, it said, sure enough, Diablo 3, install, blah, 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 blah. Clicked open and it started the install pro It was slow. <laughs> oh, it was slow. Yes, indeed. You know, I mean, it's a nice fast uh, DVD ripper and stuff that I've got. It's plugged in through USB, obviously. I don't have one built into the P PC because uh, unless you're using a 10-year-old case, you wouldn't have a place to put one in a new PC. But, just for that reason... Well, actually, I got it originally. Because when I swapped into my new motherboard, which isn't on the list of the uh, Gigabyte Vulnerability ones, Thank goodness. Um, but when I got it, there was a known common problem, and that was that it didn't come with the LAN drivers. Yeah, weirdly enough. Um, I 
and although it was said that some people were having issues, like it, obviously it still does come with a uh, a hardware installer DVD, you know, most people won't use it, they'll be using the online version, but it does come with it, and uh, so yeah, I tried that, unfortunately I also ran into the problem where the, uh, it came up as, sorry, corrupted, what? <laughs> you know, hmm, but yeah, so in the end I didn't end up using it. I also wanted it because I have, uh, like 30 CDs full of uh, MP4s or MP3s, I'm sorry, MP4s are what I do my video files in yeah, full of MP3s from way back in the day of, well, believe it or not all the way back to Napster um, some, of the, some of the CDs were actually recorded off Napster but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know it uh-huh Yes, indeed. Species 7, you freaking pirate. But, uh, unfortunately, they were recorded on, again, technology that just, there's something different in the code now. Out of 31 CDs, two of them actually showed up, like as having information I could access. And only one of them showed up stable enough that I could pull the files off and copy them somewhere else. So yeah, out of uh, probably several hundred hours of music, I was able to get uh, one, one CD's worth. <laughs> uh, I tell you. But, at least I do have the drive. And they're cheap. I think I paid 20 something dollars for it, brand new. Saved most of the cost on the unit on the cable. I kid you, it, <laughs> it's got a USB cable that it, uh, folds up underneath it through uh, wire guides. And literally, the cable is 8 inches long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure uh, where they expect you to be able to plug it in where you only need an 8 inch cable, but that's what it comes with <laughs> so luckily and again quite surprisingly um, I just have it plugged into a hub on my desktop and it was still able to uh, read the Diablo discs and install them so it might have been a reason it took a little longer you know or at least contributed to the reason it took a little longer but, uh, yeah, quite surprised. Most things these days, they're either compatible or they're not, and there's more of them not than is, so. Oh, man, we're not going to be able to get them all. But everybody does, and everybody kind of, well, I suppose, the. Diablo fanboys at any rate all say that uh, Diablo 2 was pretty much the uh, gold standard in Diablo. One more, eh? Hmm. Well, this is certainly the last full trailer we're going to get out of here. He says, knowing he's been wrong just about every prediction. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, it doesn't mean you gotta quit. Nobody likes a quitter. 
Fucking 7.42 a.m. I don't know what time I started. We shall press on. Yeah, this is uh, far too many stacks of this. But we are going to chew through it pretty quick, I should hope. Between the sheep and the cows, we've got good use for it. Oh, there we are. Jump into my nice clean tractor. You like how clean that is? Yes. Wiped it all down with a microfiber cloth. <laughs> Not quite. I love the headlights on this thing. They look like something off my electric scooter. I kid you not. <laughs> with the big cooling fins on the back and stuff. Just a single wire plug to the back. Exposed. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Six, seven. Oh my god. This makes eight. Where the heck are we gonna put it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think we'll be doing hay next time. Because even though we are gonna use a lot of it, this is a lot, a lot of it. Yeah. Well, I think we, we've probably got a good four rows worth of space in the uh, shed, so. Mind you, again, I don't want to end up packing them so tight that uh, it causes me issues, right? Because that's what I did last time, I think. I pushed them in too snug against the walls. So big shout out to all my regular viewers and if you're new to the channel i appreciate you coming by spend a bit of time don't forget to hit that like button if you do enjoy the content in fact if you watched it to this point it's only polite <laughs> yes yeah, hitting you with the canadian guilt trip it's not polite if you don't hit the like button and uh yeah if you figure i deserve it feel free to hit the subscribe and notification as well I swear, it looks like there's puddles all along the edge of my cornfield. I think it's just where some lime is kind of still poking through in places. Hmm. That's okay. We're not going to be fussy. I've told myself, don't be fussy. <laughs> You're enough of a dick as it is without being fussy, you see. That's what I actually told myself. <laughs> Alright. So I believe we were here. Let's get the little toy slide out. Another 
There's six nails, eh? So that's one full stack on that machine. Oh, I did leave a set here, didn't I? No. Oh. Well. Very well. We will indeed leave so. Lovely. Boop. And up she come. Okay. There you are. Hold it all up. And good to go. All right. How are you guys doing anyway? Jeez, you don't have a lot, do you? Huh. But you take... some food down. start down here, I guess.
This is going to be a process. <clears throat> I mean, it's not bad. It is a pretty quick bale wrapper when you get down to it. And you were the cut. Pop. There we go. And I am starting with the longest rows. You've been doing them at a slight angle. I'm just noticing these lines you can see on the field. When we started, we were on the other side of this one. Oops, it's waiting for me to tell it to set it down. And now we're on this side. So it is slightly leaning toward the, uh, the left. double set here so I think I'll drop this one a little further back just to give the machine some time to pick it up when we come for it the first row. Awesome. Alright guys, I am going to call the episode here. We, uh, well, we know what we're going to be doing next episode, finishing this up. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed. Again, if you did, please remember to hit that like button. It helps out a bunch. But, all, well, take care of each other, folks. And ciao. For now.